Canberra now. Liberal MP Tim Wilson joins us, who I know will be keeping a very close on the RBA's movements tomorrow. Tim Wilson, thank you for your time. According to Econom Economist, there is now a 90% chance the RBA will cut uh, another, um, uh, make another rate cut uh, tomorrow. This is because of the coronavirus spread over the weekend. Is that a good idea? Oh, well, I think we need to be cautious in every decision and give people reassurance uh, about the fundamentals of the Australian economy confronting what is a very serious but also potentially a temporary uh, event. Um, I mean, I, I've always been cautious about cutting interest rates. My view uh, has not changed because what we need and, and the story about Queensland just demonstrated is small and medium businesses needing assistance over a temporary period to get through and ride through uh, what is a very difficult period for them, um, both in terms of stock but also in terms of consumers. Yeah, but usually the RBA does kind of look through some of these, what we <coughs> hope will be a temporary crisis. So if, if it does go that way, what does it tell you about the longer term effects of the coronavirus? Well, it's not um, completely clear yet. And part of the uh, challenge of the longer term consequences is what we do in the short term. This is why the government has taken such a strong position in getting ahead of the World Health Organization, the international community have done exactly the right thing, like explicitly the right thing in uh, protecting Australians to limit the uh, domestic exposure on health grounds and economic grounds. Uh, but the consequences unfolding as a result of uh, China not really getting back to work as it were post Chinese New Year have yet to flow through. Um, and the important thing is to help small businesses and medium businesses get through this period, um, not to, uh, to panic, to be reassuring and to um, aid them where we can. If the RBA does make this move tomorrow, does that perhaps show that the federal government should have perhaps moved quicker, more quickly in uh, pulling those fiscal levers? Uh, no, I don't think so at all. Um, in fact, the government has taken exactly the right approach, which is to focus on uh, border security, which we obviously uh, have and have the advantages of, and making sure we're making prudent and responsible decisions. Mm -hmm. Because it isn't just an issue of spending more money. The challenges that will unfold in the economy over the coming weeks will be around supply chains. It won't change in any way if uh, we just start randomly spending money uh, around the place. The same is also true with some of the issues we face with inbound tourism. So uh, the issues we face won't be fixed by just pulling fiscal levers. Mm. Uh, they will be about supporting small and medium businesses to carry their costs over a temporary period uh, and you know, potentially quite a challenging one, but that is what we need to do. This is a health crisis, absolutely. But at what point does it cross the thre threshold into a financial one? Well, the hope is that there won't be a financial one, but at the moment the focus should be squarely on people's health and that's where we have to make sure we put the priority on it because uh, in the end the risks as we've seen from overseas, if it's not contained uh, well by, because governments haven't gotten ahead of it, as ours have, mm. uh, as we've seen outbreaks and that then only compounds the economic consequences. So we're absolutely making the right decisions uh, in protecting Australians that are obviously good for Australians' health, but the flow on will also be good for the economy or at least uh, will ameliorate uh, some of the consequences to the economy. We will find out or we'll see what the national accounts say on Wednesday it will give us a, a bit of a health update on uh, the state of our economy in the last quarter. What do you think this will tell us? The R word has been thrown around of late. I, I think people should be cautious about throwing around that world, uh, word. Uh, obviously, we've come off the back of the, the drought, the bushfires, and now we have the challenges of the coronavirus, not all of which will have flowed through yet. In mm. fact, there'll be, I suspect, more to come. Uh, and frankly, this just validates the approach the government has been taking about being prudent so that we have at least some policy levers which we can pull, uh, whether it's um, obviously, depending on the circumstances, uh, spending or helping small and medium businesses get through this period, um, about seeking to get the budget into a position where we can help and support in unexpected events, uh, but I don't think anyone should rush to use words mm. uh, until we actually establish what's happening. It'd be best to pull those levers rather than get a surplus, wouldn't it? Well, it's best to make sure that you have the levers to pull, which is what we've done, and then if those levers are available, to pull them, but do them in a strategic, a precise way to help small and medium businesses get through what is a temporary challenge. Uh, and that's the, uh, the approach I'm hoping the government's taking, certainly based on the 
uh, what's been in the press this morning. That seems to be the approach that is being taken mm. uh, and that's why uh, it's the sensible and prudent way to manage these challenges to reassure Australians. Now you've always got to be prudent with taxpayers' money. I think everyone accepts that but today uh, we see news of bushfire payments for businesses very slow to get through to those affected. Uh, payments to farmers are similar, not as slow but similar. Uh, what's going on here? Why is it so slow? Well, it's a mixed bag of uh, making sure the money gets to those people who need it, making sure that there isn't any inappropriate allocation uh, of money, and as you said right from the outset, making sure we treat Australian taxpayers' money uh, with respect. Now, uh, the government is moving as fast as possible with the resources mm. as possible to get money into people's pockets um, where it's needed to help with temporary disasters, uh, uh, but it's going to be, it has to be done with integrity, and that's the approach the government's taken every step of the way. Okay, Tim Wilson, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.